Your Excellency the President, uh, the clergy led by the two bishops, uh, the family of our departed Hilo, the family of Charles Rubia, and our daughter Muranga, I would want to take this opportunity to welcome all of you to the county of Hilos, the Mulanga County. You're most welcome. And again, I want to extend my condolences to the family uh, of uh, the late Charles Rubia. Then I want to say two things. As Kenyans, we are very easy to forget. We forget things very fast. I mean, what we are praising today is likely to be exactly what we, some of us or what we are condemning. Charles fought for constitutional change. He was fighting for change. Charles was also fighting for people engagement, involvement of Kenyans in governance. And uh, he fought together with uh, his compatriots and they suffered. Today, it's opposite. We had a regime which we had to fight, and that was then, I'm not criticizing anyone, but we had to fight for change. We now have a regime which is initiating change. Because the president, out of uh, no, no push, he has put in front of Kenyans some constitutional proposals. That is through his own personal initiative. It had to take detention, torture, and, and a lot of fights, even street fights, for change to be initiated in this country. Then when we, are, we have a regime whereby uh, the, the government can on its own energy, its own move, initiate change and tell Kenyans engage and let us put together what is best for this country. You still hear mamas. So, what is it going to be happy. It is going to so that change can come. Or we would rather have change through an able leadership which is saying, well, let's, let's have a discourse. Let's agree. And then let the people decide. And I'm not talking BBI, but I'm, I'm also talking BBI, my friends. Because that's a constitutional proposal that the government has put to the people. And they have again said, we still have no say, let the people of Kenya engage so that all those small and many things which we have been talking about, if, including even the cognition of healers, all those things which are not light, we put them light without fighting and without detaining anyone. So, Your Excellency, you know, these things will keep happening. You continue. People are being detained for change to happen. We are now being offered change and an opportunity to discuss out of government's free will. So I think as Kenyans, we need to really get serious so that we discuss, you know, you know agendas which are rigorous and value-adding in nature. I mean, I think we need to get serious because we get too small at times. And then you wonder, what kind of a nation are we going to bequeath? To our, to, our, to our children, surely. So uh, my request is, the best legacy, I mean the best uh, uh, thing that we can immortalize Charles and others with is to make sure that we keep engaging, bringing change without necessarily having to resort to detentions and street fights. Lastly, Charles, as a chair of uh, of the Moranga Council of uh, Eminent Persons had visited our assembly uh, together with the entire council and they made a very specific uh, uh, appeal and proposal. Uh, they made a petition that they, they would wish that the county government of Moranga dedicate some space for the construction of uh, uh, Moranga County uh, Hilo's library. And uh, I would wish to report that uh, the report was taken over by the assembly, and the assembly approved, and uh, we are in concurrence with the assembly as the executive, 
and we've already dedicated uh, between two to four acres, uh, which we are going to hand over to the, the Council of uh, Eminent Persons so that we can jointly uh, set up the, 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 the museum. It will be able to utilize, to immortalize our halos all the way from uh, Wangwa Makeri, uh, the Kenneth Matibas and, and Mechukis and many others. So I want to assure the family that it went through and uh, Duarte Kariuki really fought for it and uh, we've already dedicated that piece of land. Uh, 